Hi, my name's Jono. In 2019, I was a fresh-faced graduate who had just finished uni and was starting his first full-time corporate job as a lawyer. My best mate Jason was a uni student and at the time we were making silly cooking videos together like these. Time to set the scene for your Japanese meal. Get a table, cover it with a towel, make it look pretty with a samurai sword and slip on a Japanese kimono robe or a bathrobe. <laughs> In the next two years, we took our videography hobby and turned it into a side business whilst I worked full-time and Jason studied as a full-time student. Now, you might be in the same position as us two years ago. You might have a full-time or part-time job or you might still be at uni, but you have a passion for videography that you hope to turn into a full-time gig someday. So the goal of this video is to show you that this dream is actually very achievable if you're willing to put in the work to get there. I mean, if two hooligans like us can do it, anyone can. So just to give you guys an exact figure, in the last year from January 2021 to December 2021, we made $147,567 in gross revenue. Just a disclaimer, this was shared 50-50 between Jason and myself, and we generated this figure whilst I was working full-time and Jason was studying full-time as well. We are still very much in the process of learning our craft and building our own video production company. So we really hope that this video doesn't come off as if we're trying to show off in any sort of way. We really just wanna be as transparent as possible with you guys and show someone who might be in the same position as us two years ago what's possible if you have a bit of passion and if you put in the time and effort. We love being able to share what we have learned in our own filmmaking journey and we really hope that this video inspires others and helps them realize some of the success that we've seen from our own filmmaking journey. So let's get into some practical tips on how you can make your first $100,000 with videography. Number one is to work backwards and break your goal down into smaller targets. There's 12 months in a year, which means to reach $100,000 in the year, you will need to make roughly $8,000 per month or $8,333.33 to be exact. If you do eight to nine projects per month for $1,000 per project, you have already reached that target. Now, I know what you're thinking. When we first started as beginner filmmakers, we had a similar limiting belief. There is no way that someone would actually pay us $1,000 to do a video project. At the time, we were doing video projects for $200 to $500 or a lot of times for free. But what you'll find is as you get more experience, as the quality of your videos improve and as your network grows, your prices will gradually increase. And soon enough, it'll become very normal for you to actually charge $1,000 or even much more for your video projects. Another way to look at it, if you don't feel like you can get to that $1,000 per video project mark, is if you're making $500 per video project, that's still only 16 of those projects that you have to do per month to reach that monthly target. So breaking that overall $100,000 goal into smaller monthly targets will give you a better idea of what tangible steps you need to take each month in order to work towards that overall goal. Tip number two is to know who you want to help, or in other words, which niche or niches do you want to target? Who are the people that are going to pay you the money so that you can make your first $100,000 with videography? So when Jason and I started our video business, our strategy rested on three pillars. The first was working with real estate developers and agents who needed video content to sell real estate. The second pillar was small to medium sized businesses who needed video content to promote the products or services. And number three were brides who needed video to capture moments from one of the biggest days in their life. And so for the year 2021, breaking down our revenue figures based on these three pillars. So let me get my laptop to run you guys through the exact figures. For the year of 2021, breaking down our revenue of $147,567 into each of the three niches that I just mentioned. Number one, real estate. We generated $71,363 in gross revenue. Number two, small to medium sized businesses. We generated $63,000 $885 in gross revenue. And number three, weddings, we generated $12,319 in gross revenue. Bearing in mind that the revenue for weddings should have been significantly higher, except we had lockdowns in Sydney from the end of June all the way to October, 2021. And so we had a lot of weddings in that period that got postponed to 2022. So by having a clearer idea of 
who your clients are and how you're planning on serving them, you move away from the mindset that a lot of beginner videographers have, which is to bounce around from gig to gig to having a more long-term strategy for your video business. Tip number three is to think about how you're gonna sell your video services. Think about what your video packages are and what you're gonna to offer to the marketplace in order to make your first $100,000 with videography. For example, as I mentioned before, for our own video business, Jason and I had the strategy to sell video services to three niches. So for real estate developers and agents, our most common offer was a one to two minute real estate walkthrough style video. For small to medium sized businesses, we would offer content packages where we would organize a half day or a full day shoot and from that shoot, we would produce a certain number of videos and photos depending on the budget. For weddings, our standard offer was a five to seven minute wedding highlight film, which also included hourly coverage of the wedding from start to finish. A lot of beginner videographers that I see make the mistake of just telling people to hit them up whenever they need video. Except the reason why people don't hit them up is because they don't have a clear offer. Clients want to be clear on what you can offer them to help solve their problem. So think about how you're gonna sell your video services. Craft a compelling offer that really helps solve a problem that your ideal client is facing. Now, before we move on to the next tip, if you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. It'll be super quick and it really helps boost our engagement so that we can get this content out to more beginner filmmakers just like you. Tip number four is to build your network. When you're looking to make money with videography, you have to make an important mindset shift. You are a business owner before you are a videographer. And you may have heard of the saying, your network is your net worth. And when it comes to business, this is absolutely spot on. It's actually not about how good your videos are, but how good your relationships are that will really determine the success of your business. You can make the best videos in the world, but if you're an absolute pain to work with, you're not gonna get much work. When Jason and I first started our filmmaking journey, we thought that as long as we produce the best videos, people would naturally come to us and ask to work with us. Although that might get you work here and there, if you want a long-term sustainable business, you really need to focus on building strong relationships with the right people. Over the past two years, Jason and I have really focused on building strong relationships with marketing agencies, marketing managers, business owners, and real estate agents. And these relationships have been key in providing us with ongoing work that has allowed us to consistently reach our monthly revenue targets to get to that $100,000 goal. Number five is to track your monthly revenue. I would highly recommend a CRM, which was something that I learned about when I was working in my corporate job. CRM essentially stands for Client Relationship Management, and it's a system that you can use to track your client relationships and video projects. There's a lot of softwares you can use to actually perform this function, but when Jason and I first started our video business, we just used a simple Excel spreadsheet that we held on a Google Drive that we could both work on and keep up to date. The spreadsheet helped us keep track of our video projects on a monthly basis and covered everything from the date of the shoot, the project details, the client, the budget, the progress of the project, and whether an invoice had been issued and paid. Using a CRM to track your monthly revenue will inform you whether you're on track to reach your overall goal, and if not, what areas you might need to improve on in the following months. Now, I know we've only scratched the surface of what it takes to make $100,000 with videography, but above all else, I think the number one reason why Jason and I have been even remotely successful in achieving our goal with videography is because we have a strong passion for this. We love filmmaking. We love telling stories and making people feel something. I'll be honest with you guys, making money with videography is not easy. But as Steve Jobs says, you have to find passion in what you're doing. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. People see us making a living, pursuing our passion and doing what we love, but most people only see the tip of the iceberg. They don't see the late night editing, the stressful deadlines, the networking that you have to do, or the constant rejection, or the countless hours we're spent perfecting our craft. But in my opinion, it is completely worth it. We've managed to have the coolest experiences through our video business. Like when we had to wrap up our cameras in Glad Wrap to film a Caribbean paint party. 
or when Jason, who is a massive football fan, got to go on the pitch and film a professional football team walking out onto the field. Or when we filmed this harborside property on Jason's birthday and we met a self-made millionaire who invited us to have wine on his patio and shared his story with us in front of the Harbour Bridge. These are life experiences that go beyond money and will be memories that we will look back fondly on when we're old. Thank you so much for watching guys. Now, if you want to hear more about our journey of how Jason and I went from complete beginners two years ago to now running our own video production company full time, make sure you sign up to our email newsletter, link in the description box down below. In our newsletter, we go deep and share all aspects of our journey, personal insights, specific steps, struggles that we face in building our video business. We would love to have you in our community. If you have any questions, feel free to always just reach out to us at jonoandjason at gmail.com. Thank you again for staying until the very end of the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.